Hi there, how are you doing? Let me introduce myself. My name is Okta. I'm a sushi maker. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make nigiri sushi. Sushi is originally a nigiri style, which is a tiny slice of a raw fish over the sushi rice. But there are so many different ways to make the nigiri sushi. Today, I'm gonna show you the basic one to make a nigiri sushi. First of all, wet your hands with water that already mixed with rice vinegar to keep the rice from sticking to your palm or fingers as you shape it and also helps to kill bacteria remain on your hands and ingredients Prepare the sushi rice The best timing to use it is about 1 hour after it's cooked Grab the sushi rice about 20 to 25 grams and shape it become a rice ball. Try to measure the weight and don't squeeze too tight. Make it soft enough to contain a little bit of air in the rice. Place the fish or cooked shrimp on your palm finger and grab with your thumb on your left hand. If you want to add wasabi, take one pinch and put on the center of shrimp. Place the sushi rice you just made on the shrimp. Make a small hole with your index finger and press the bottom and top of the rice with your thumb and index finger and bend your fingertips to lightly cover both of the shrimp and rice all together then press down your whole index finger to shape the lock and then flip the shrimp over and rice together Press the shrimp with your index finger and bend your left finger tips to cover the shrimp. Press the side of shrimp with your thumb and middle finger to make a shape. And then with your thumb of your left finger to press the top of shrimp down together. Turn around the shrimp. and press again the side of shrimp with your thumb and middle finger press down again with your index finger and bend your left finger tips to cover the shrimp and make a shape by pressing the shrimp with your thumb and index or middle finger Let's watch another example with salmon. Shrimp is easier to use. 
but when you want to make nigiri with regular fish you have to make sure the right direction and read the grain all fishes have the grain within its meat when you slice the fish basically you need to cut against the grain if you cut with the grain the whole long grain will stay in the piece of the sliced fish which make it chewy so try to cut across the grain so that the short pieces of tissue is connected to the grain let's see another example with tuna you can make always the same way with the other fishes Another example with tilapia The last example is escolar or super white tuna. So, finally, five kinds of nigiris are done. If you like, you can add some more pickled ginger and wasabi on the plate. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy your video. And don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. If you have any question, you just write down below the comment. Thank you. Bye.